Hi Esther, can you please give me an overview of the plan to go policy? Hi Julia, sure. Um, in regards to meeting rooms one and two, um, they need to be booked and managed by the individual teams and um, the booking sheet needs to be filled in, yep. which, is to, which is held at the entrance of the meeting rooms. Yep. Um, the bookings also need to include the team names as well as the contact, so that would be yourself. Yep. Um, and if the room is booked, for the day that we wanted, I just I, I would have to um, negotiate a swap with uh, the contact that's already booked that okay. meeting room. Uh, boardroom bookings, they're to be managed by the reception um, and I do that via phone or email. So I have to ch chat with them and request a, a booking for the boardrooms. Um, in regards to reoccurring appointments, um, they are generally to be, well, they are to be scheduled for the remainder of the year. Um, things that are, things like lunch breaks, um, uh, team committee meetings, things like that. And when they are scheduled for the remainder of the year, they're to be scheduled or highlighted in yellow. Okay. Uh, there's, in regards to lunch breaks, lunch breaks are between 12 and 1 each day. And they are also to be scheduled as a recurring appointment and to be uh, um, color, 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 color category of yellow. Yep. And um, in regards to team meetings, we need to schedule them between the hours of 10 and 4. Um, and also it needs to be noted um, quite obviously as team meeting in the schedule and um, noted as a recurring appointment for the remainder of the year and again colored in yellow. Offsite appointments, they need to be also, um, uh, they need to be entered as a, a couple of different entries. So we need the appointment entry, but we also need a separate entry to establish travel time for the offsite appointments. Yeah. Um, and they generally need to have um, at least half an hour travel time. Yeah. And they need to be color coded in green. Great, that is good, thank you. Um, so just to make sure um, that they're covered, can you please run me through my personal calendar requirements? Sure. Okay. Um, leaders lunches, for fir firstly, um, you look like to only attend them on Wednesdays and they're to be held in meeting room two. Perfect. Your hours of... Your working hours are 8.30 to 5.30 each day, although you don't like your first appointment to be before 9.30. So I'm not to schedule any appointments for the yep. first hour of your working day. Um, and your appointment diary, you like it to be set up in 30 minute intervals. Yes. Yep. Um, you don't like any of the reminders to be on, so you need to take off all the reminders, unless you have specifically asked for me to put a reminder on a particular appointment. Um, and... We spoke about the leaders' lunches. Yep. Oh, and re any recurring appointments should be made for the rest of the month. Cool. Um, and then in regards to uh, my appointment priorities. Okay, so the main one is, well, there's, there's two. Uh, they're both as important as each other. So one is to make sure that um, your my, I manage your appointments according to the plan to go um, policy yep. for managing appointments and your private appointments take priority over any other appointments. Yes, perfect. Um, and one last thing, are there any appointments at the moment that need rescheduling? Have, have I been double booked? Somewhere? Actually, yes, there is. Okay. Um, Emily uh, would like yep. an appointment with you on Thursday. Okay. Yep. Now you have a private, you have a a private appointment you need to leave work by 3 30 on thursday okay she is available from 2 p.m onwards well let's just lock in three perfect i'll yeah. email emily and i'll let you i will lock that in i'll let you know if there's any problems with that appointment great thank you perfect